All right, my friends. That might look kind of familiar to some of y'all. Up there, we got my pal Josh from Pig Patrol TV. I'm back in the Midwest. We got this spillway right here, and looking down at it right now, I know it's hard for y'all to see. I'm looking at like some 40, 50 pound fish. I'm pretty sure they're just carp. But the reason we're here is because he has got some absolutely gigantic catfish from places like this. Oh, you could just see one roll. Look at that. I don't know if y'all can see it, but this sucker was massive. But anyways, there's big fish down there. We're gonna try and find huge catfish, ideally flathead, because that's what I want. Got Josh on his 150 pound alligator gar, so he's gonna try and put me on a big kitty. Thank you guys for watching. See him, Josh, right there? Look at him, in the, see him? Look at him, look at him, he's right there. Got him, Josh, got him. Got? I don't know, but it hit it. it, hit it? Yeah. Head shake. Got slammed. I think it is too. Not sure what to do. Okay. No, it hit it, bro. Yeah, boom. Right there. Right in the spot where it makes sense for it to be, you know? Might be the same one I caught. Oh, those head shakes, man. I ain't caught enough of these to tell you, but it ain't small. I think it's over 20, you know? It's real slow moving. At the last spot, I was telling Tyler, it happens pretty fast and it's gonna happen. For once, I was right. I said you had 30 pound grade on there? 30. That should be enough. I just wanna get him out of them rocks. That looks big, man. Remember, it's a crappie rod. Yeah, the, ro the rod probably isn't the right rod. Yeah, I know, but that makes it a little more fun. Boom. Might be the same fish I caught, man. Well, if it is, I hope it's grown a couple ounces. Yeah. Oh, golly, Josh. I would just back off, maybe click. Yeah, definitely a flat. No. Oh. Way, no way around. What, are you going to go swimming? I might. Oh, golly. Yeah, let him go. Now he knows he's hooked. There rarely is very many big flatheads at the same spot when they're this small, so. That's what I want him to do, get out there a little ways. He's not, he's only three feet down. 
He's coming up fast now. Yeah, you're shaking a little bit there, eh, buddy? Oh, yeah. I'd say try to hop down to this rock right here if you can. Okay. You want a hand? He's leaving now. That's alright, you want him away from this. Get him away from the stick and the rock. <laughs> Big. On my little tiniest, tiniest setup. That's insane. He just stomped it, man. I told you, if you get one to bite it, you're gonna know it's bit. I'm nervous. You're shaking a little bit. If this happens, it'll be the first video I made with you in Nebraska. In Nebraska. <laughs> Our fishing isn't quite as good as Texas. What we make do with what we got. This might be your biggest flathead ever, man. Don't say that. Alright, it's your smallest flathead ever. It ain't my smallest. Well, I'm not sure what to say then. It's pretty slow. Like that. Popped off his back. Off the back then? Yep. How many casts did you make? Like three? No, I made six or seven. No, oh, I want a rock. No, I'm on another rock. Probably just the space running into it. Make sure he will eat. Probably gonna try to make one more big peel and run. Okay. Be ready for it. It's crazy how they just stay so close. I think that's your best angle to land him right there. I have to agree. There's his run. Yep. My camera on for eight minutes. Did you turn it on before or after he bit? I had, I had it on when he bit. I had him on for probably four minutes, I bet. Oh. He's right there. This is the oh, he's in rocks right there. This is the same. That's, that's all him. This is the same rod I caught the ghost carp on. Really? <laughs> Look at your eyelid. It's like <laughs> to the side. This rod's comes. been through some stuff. You're gonna see him. Oh. There's his boil. You ever caught a flathead on an artificial? Only the little ones with you in Kansas. Remember them? Yeah. Come on. He's got to be right there. Oh, oh my God. God. Holy sh**, Tyler. It like choked it too. It, it's in there. That might be the same fish I caught. Really? Or it looks bigger. like a similar color. Yeah, or it's bigger. That's big. We never even saw how thick he was, you know? He's probably this thick this time of year. Dude, he's giant. Dude, on a crankbait, <laughs> Josh. <laughs> Holy. On my little crappie setup. No, stop. Oh, God. I, this was me like a couple weeks ago. Just yeah. so nervous. Oh, just terrified, dude. I'm terrified. Dude, he's big. Real big. Oh my gosh! Power. Powerhouse. Dude, he's 40 something inches. Oh no. That's alright. Mine did that a couple times too. It's 
seems like there should be a lot of snag to get stuck in, but there. It's deep. pretty deep right off the bat, eh? Yeah, it, it drops off pretty quick. There's not a silver that jumped over there. There he was. Man, it's not often you can go back to the spot and do the same thing. Oh, so Josh. So big. Dude. Oh, Josh. Yeah. Holy buckets, Ryan. buddy. Holy He's buckets. Pissed, dude. You're going to grab him. If you give me the pull, I can direct him to you. You you got more experience with grabbing them. Well, you're gonna have to get them up over here. Come to the left of me. You grab his bottom jaw, squeeze hard. With uh, like. Yeah, hard. Okay. Uh, kind of try to keep him in the water for a second. I don't know if it's the same fish. Look at the crank's gone, buddy. Do you see it? Oh yeah, I can see it. You can. Oh yeah. Holy cats, look at his mouth. Look at the size of this flathead, guys. My biggest ever. Goodness, Josh paid back in full for the alligator gar. That is the fish of a lifetime for me. Got it. Good job. Okay, there she is. New PB flathead, thanks to Josh. Can you say that one more time? Oh, new PB flathead, thanks to Josh. Tim Bradley, what's the Josh? You're used to gator gar and stuff. What's going on, Tyler? That's Wait, big. Look, that's like at least 40. We're gonna let her go. What a fish, man. Crazy, huh? Thank you, Josh. Oh, hold on. Oh. Give me a hug, man. <laughs> <laughs> nice, thank you, man. Yeah, no big dog. Alright, well we still just got here and have to get out, so. <sighs> I'm good. All right, my friends. Like I said, Josh completely repaid himself for the alligator guard. Well, it was cast number four or five. Look at that. Six cents movement L7 crankbait, 30 pound braid, no leader, with a crappie setup, basically cast king rod and reel. Couldn't have performed better. Dude, that's the biggest flathead of my life. Big. I don't know how big, because I'm terrible at having scales that work on big fish. But... It was a big one. I've caught a 35 before. Easily 35 we, to 45 conservative. We can say that one was bigger than 35, I think. A, the crankbait, just absolutely insane. And the craziest part is, there's gonna be a part two to this video coming in a few weeks where something equally or maybe even more crazy happens. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks to Josh. His comment is the first one linked below. Sub to him, because he catches giant flatheads sometimes take some work around here <laughs> every once in a while i get lucky oh yeah like like we were talking i've made i've been to nebraska a bunch of times to visit we've attempted to make videos together in nebraska 12 times literally 12 times maybe more it happened on this time finally we did it thank you guys for watching sub to josh Pow.